Let's go to the trading floor in Chicago and find out about our grain trade today. Everything seems to be fairly quiet except for a little softness in the wheat market here. We have Oliver Slope standing by to talk with us. He's with Blue Line Futures. And Oliver, uh, looking at this grain trade today, it seems like everybody's kind of heading for the sidelines. Is that right? Before Thursday's <laughs> reports? Well, it's very quiet here. It is Columbus Day, so I think you saw maybe a few traders extend their weekend a little bit longer. And in fact, a lot of the pits are closed. It's mostly the grains and the S&P that are still open. Uh, Euro dollar and some other markets are closed for the day. But yeah, kind of uh, sitting on their hands waiting for this USDA report, I think. We're looking for a new fundamental catalyst to kind of give us the next technical or directional move in this corn market. We've been hovering towards the bottom end of the range recently. 348 and a quarter is going to be a big, big level throughout the week through that USDA report on the 12th. If we break and close below that, there's really not a whole lot of technical support until 335. Now on the flip side, resistance, the bulls desperately want to see a close above 358 to 362. This is the recent highs throughout September, the 50-day moving average, as well as a key Fibonacci retracement from the July highs to the August low. So kind of in, a, in about a 10 cent range or so, but hopefully we can get some more new news to uh, either break us out or break us down. Hopefully, for the producer's sake, we break out. From what I understand, Oliver, it sounds like the average guess of the analysts for the uh, report coming out on Thursday, they expect uh, USDA to just barely inch their yield results upward, just maybe a tenth of a bushel or, or two on the uh, soybeans and the corn. That seems to be the consensus. We saw Informa go ahead and raise their estimates last week as well. And from the, the way it looks right now, a lot of farmers are saying that they're better than expected. But keep in mind, we are fairly early in the harvest period and, and the corn is FIFO, first in, first out. So that earlier planted stuff looks pretty good. We'll see how that progresses as we head through uh, the next month. Okay.